Okay, my friends, welcome to math. So today we're going to talk about some number stories. And in the classroom, we just warmed up our brains by counting by fives. We counted by fives to 20, whispering the numbers in between. We counted by fives to 50. Then we counted by fives as high as we could count. So, okay, today we're going to solve everyday math problems. Everyday math problems are stories, uh, are problems with stories involving numbers and having questions you can answer with math. So here's an example. Oh, and you'll need your math toolkits out, okay? So here's an example. The zoo has five new tigers and three new lions. How many animals does the zoo have? Now, you might be thinking in your brain, I got this, I already know this, I don't need to do anything. However, today I want you to sh use a strategy and show me what strategy you're using, okay? So you can use counters, you can draw me pic a picture, you can use your number line, you can count on, but I want you to be able to explain to me how you got your answer. Does that make sense? So if I was gonna use a number line, I would get out my blue binder, right? If I was gonna draw a picture, probably just draw it on this whiteboard, make sense? If I was gonna use counters, I have a math toolkit full of goodies that I could use, right? I could use any of these as counters. And if you're gonna add on, that's fine. Just tell me how you add it on. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay, so my friends at home. Oh, and one more thing. I don't want you to forget to label it. So when my question says, how many new animals does the zoo have? We're gonna label this one animals because our answer is blank animals is what the zoo has, correct? Okay, so. Um, I'm going to pause the video, my friends at home, I'm going to pause the video and I want you to solve the word problem and be sure to share your answer and your strategy on Seesaw. So I want you to post your answer and how you figured it out on Seesaw. But don't forget to come back because there's more to this lesson. So I'm only going to pause you so that you can do the word problem and my friends at school can do the word problem and then we'll be back for the next one. Okay, don't forget to come back. Okay, my friends at home, we're, come, we're back. Um, so my friends here, some of them use their um, pennies, some of them use their toothpicks, some of them use toothpicks and paper clips. Some counted on. They started at five, the bigger number, and then they added three. So five, six, seven, eight. This is what I did. I did five T's for tiger and I did three L's for lion, and then I just counted them all up and I got the number eight, and I labeled my answer, what? Nope, I labeled it, what's this big long words? Animal. Animals. Why did I label it animals? Because the question was how many animals does the zoo have? So I'm answering it, eight animals. Make sense? All right, erase your boards or erase whatever you use. Put it all together again. Let's try this one, okay? Everybody's got their listening ears on? All right, here we go. So Frank caught seven fish last Sunday. He threw six fish back because they were too small. How many fish did Frank bring home? What are we gonna label our answer this time? Yeah, fish, because it says, how many fish did Frank bring home? All right, so let me read it one more time. Frank caught seven fish last Sunday. He threw six fish back because they were too small. How many fish did Frank bring home? So again, my friends at home, I'm going to pause the video so that we can work and you can work at home. And then don't forget to come back because it's just the beginning of our lesson. All right, we're back. So my friends here at school were using pennies. They were counting back. Someone drew dots and erased them. They drew seven dots and then they erased them. Mrs. Brooks decided to use a number line this time. Everybody eyes up here, please. Okay, so when you use a number line, I started with the number of fish that he caught. How many fish did he catch? Seven. Seven, so I circled seven. And then I knew he threw back how many, Lily? Six. So I counted back six hops. So watch. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And what number should I have landed on? One. And look, I labeled it one fish. Yep, because that's what we're talking about. The question is, how many fish did Frank bring home? Right? That's the question. So he brought home one fish. All right, perfect. Erase your boards or whatever you used. All right, let's do another one. This time, Scott ate three oranges on Saturday. So he ate three oranges on Saturday, and he ate zero oranges on Sunday. How many oranges did he eat in all? So what are we going to label it? No, what are we going to label it? What's the question asking you? How many oranges, right? So you're going to label your answer oranges. My friends at home, you know what to do. I'm going to pause the video so we can work and you can work. Don't forget to come back. Okay, my friends at home. So the answer is, what is it, guys? Tell me again. Three what? Three oranges. And we decided three oranges. So what happens this time is he ate three, and then he didn't eat any more. So I don't add anything more, so it's just three. So I added on. Three plus nothing is just three. So that was pretty easy. Okay, now we're going to do something a little bit different. Are you guys ready? You guys are going to make your own number stories. You ready for this? Okay, so you're going to use your pennies. Okay, you're going to use your pennies in your math toolkit. But hold on a second because I need to show you first what we're going to do. So you're going to have 10 pennies. And you can only have 10 pennies. Does that make sense? So your answer is always going to be what? 10. Okay. Right? So you're going to make any number story you want. It's up to you. But you have to have the answer be 10. So let's make sure I have 10 pennies first. Can you count with me? Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to write my number story. Um, I had four pennies. My mom gave me six more. Okay, now I have to ask the question. What's my question going to be? How many? How many? Honey, do I have? Okay, question mark. So, remember, we know that our answer is always going to be 10. Right? We know that our answer is always going to be 10. But the person that's doing the problem doesn't necessarily know that. All right, so ours are, our numbers are going to switch, or our problem is going to switch. You could say, I had two pennies, and I went walking down the street, and I found how many more, right? So I want you to take a moment, and you, I'll leave this up so you can see the how many, and do I have, or what, the question mark, or whatever. Whatever you need from here, writing pennies. Okay, the words are here. I want you to make your own number story on your own whiteboard. Take a snapshot of it and add it to Seesaw. Does that make sense? All right, my friends at home, this is what this is where we're going to end. Um, so I want you to do a problem or two of making your own number story and then post it to Seesaw for me. And that's it for math. So enjoy your day. I will see you in Foundations. See you later.